All right, y'all, so this is part two. Go back to part one to catch up, okay? So, um, pretty much I was leaving off at the comic contract being over. And so far, what it feels like is, um, of course, Divine Masculine um, operating as a Knight of Wands reverse. Um, you know, kind of being reckless. <laughs> Probably reckless with that. Mm, all right. But, because <laughs> you know, the Knight of Wands, they're like the playboys in the deck. But, however, it's like, um, because of that lack of self-control here, they created these karmic situations. Tell me what I need to see. A lot of fear. A lot of things that they did was based off of um ego off of their own fears off of their own anxiety um and what i'm seeing here with the king of pentacles coming out it's like they learn whatever whatever um was hidden from them before it's like they're facing it they're facing all of that like and and what i keep seeing is the judgment card it's like i see them doing the self-reflecting i see them um, not only pointing the finger at other people, but they're also dissecting their part, the role that they played in their own particular story. Okay. I mean, about the King of Pentacles. And so they want stability. They want long-term success. Four of Pentacles in um, the reverse. I mean, upright position. But I feel like it's like they more see here. Okay. I'm not obtaining this because of the things that I am actually holding on to obsessively. And this is why I keep repeating these cycles over and over again. So this is, again, like I said, I see a masculine seeing through the illusions, okay? <clears throat> Trusting their intuition. No longer feeling that insecurity. No longer hoarding. You understand? Look at that. The judgment card comes out, but it's in a reverse. No longer in the self-doubt. Lacking that self-awareness. Okay? So, basically, again, it's, it's just all about um, them awakening here. The Ace of Wands comes out. And, it, and as you know, um, the Divine Feminine Collective, as you are evolving and you're loving on yourself and you're releasing this energy, is being mirrored back to your masculine and it causes them to level up to be the King of Pentacles. It causes them to go within, okay, to examine their situation, to close out these, these cycles, these karmic cycles, all right, which have literally, they have a karmic contract that has ended. And now this is like a yes from the universe with the Ace of Wands coming out, giving them the opportunity here to have um, a new beginning, okay? Now, or opportunities again coming through, new opportunities, inspirations, um, and they're being called to take action now. Like, they have to seize the moment now, and it appears that a lot of the masculines are ready to do that. They're getting to this point of being the king of pentacles okay and so of course you know um every twin is on a different stage of their journey so again if you're not quite here yet it's possible that you could get there if you are doing the inner work okay um what is the masculine's energy towards the divine feminine Caring connection reverse. The fourth chakra is in the reverse. And the broken heart card is in the reverse. So what I'm feeling like here is like the disconnect that you two have. Okay. Um, it's a lot of healing that needs to be done. Again, it's like a mirroring energy. Okay. And it's bringing an imbalance to the connection. So when I see the broken heart card, I feel like that's about you reconciling whatever differences that you have with yourself. This is about you forgiving and you healing and you moving forward. Okay. So do some energy work on your fourth chakra, which is your heart chakra. Remember, you got to be open in your heart chakra to receive, right? Because abundance comes to you in many different forms. And it only, um, if you're blocked in your heart chakra, it literally will block 
a lot of stuff in your life, a lot of the manifestations that you're trying to achieve. You thinking like, oh, it's just going to block me from love. No, it messes with your money. <laughs> Okay, so you want to be able to be balanced in all areas. Like again, like I said, I feel like it's a mirroring energy here. So begin to um, heal your heart. I see your masculine definitely wants to reconcile. Okay, whatever those differences are that you guys are having. But you have to reconcile the differences within yourself first. Okay, um, <clears throat> what message do you have for my twins? Cool. You got it, yeah. Conflicted. The death. All right, so conflicted comes out. Death. And then it's like they have to go deep. That's how I'm seeing it. They got to go deep within their own subconscious mind to bring about this awareness. I feel like um, they could be in a running energy, right? running hot and cold, um, having a hard time making a decision. Some of them may even be, be drinking heavily, okay? Running energy coming through that was also kind of in a reverse. But what happens when you stop running from your own mirror, yourself, your counterpart stops running. That's how we stop the run or chase a dynamic, okay? So again, ask yourself, what are you holding on to? It's a lot of lessons in this journey, all right? Um, beginnings, okay? And in order to get this new beginning to start over, it's going to require you... To stop and face your mirror. 707 on the timer. You're going to get that opportunity to try again. Trust me. Even if you, you know, feel like you may not have faith. Because life goes in cycles. And because this is your divine counterpart. And they're being used to help you to ascend and evolve. Then the universe will bring it back around again. Your angelic guides will bring it back around again, whether you like it or not. Because again, it's not about you and, and, and uh, them. It's about you reconciling your differences with yourself that you may have with them, okay? And whoever else in your past. Because you are called to be a leader. You're called to be a guide, mentor, intuitive, um, in a leadership position. And you got to be able to lead from a place of wholeness, okay? So allow yourself to learn whatever you need to learn from this person. And, and look at it just simply as that. You are teaching me how to be a better me so that I can help other people to be a better them. Thank you very much. All right. And then keep it moving. This is why you have to remember that what you see with your natural eyes is literally an illusion. We are in the matrix. This shit is written. Okay. <laughs> so what character are you playing today? All right. This week, this cycle, you determine that. Okay, you control the narr narrative of this story. So go ahead and just surrender to the divine with this and stop fighting. All right. Love on yourself a little bit more today, y'all. Peace.